Hey guys, welcome to another product showcase video. Today's item comes to us from Inwin, and this is the MANA 136 Mid Tower ATX case. Okay, at first we're just going to take a quick look at the box. Uh, Inwin has produced a lot of uh, mid-tower cases lately. This is one of their newest ones in their lineup. A uh, picture of the item on the box itself. On the uh, side of the box. Not sure if we can maybe zoom in on that. Uh, case style is uh, mid-tower. Material is SECC steel. Uh, drive bays external is five and a quarter by three internal is three and a half by six So plenty of room for hard drives support SATA hard drives e easy swap module and two and a half inch by two drives for uh, SSD drives uh, Motherboard form factor is ATX micro ATX power supply is ATX 12 volt uh, IO expansion slots PCIe PCI AGP slots times seven uh, front ports, USB 3.0, there's two of them, USB 2.0, there's one of them, and then your HD AC 97 audio for your uh, headphones. Uh, thermal solutions, let's see what we got here, 12 centimeter LED front fan, uh, maximum support 12 centimeter front fan times two, so I guess you could add an extra one in the front, we'll have a look at that. 12 centimeter top fan by two, optional. 12 centimeter side fan by two optional and a water cooling hole ready so it must have holes in the back of it for uh, tubing. Uh, dimensions on this are 432 by 190 by 495 or in inches that would be 17 inches by 7.5 by 19.5. So let me back up a little here. We'll just take a quick spin on the box here. And then we'll open it up and uh, see what it comes with. This side just has big letters with the uh, MANA insignia and also some information for your USB 3, USB 2 water cooling SSD ready. And I think the other side... Okay, this is at, this got features on it, so we should read through this too. Max, multiple high-end graphic card support, maximum length 29 centimeters, that's 11.4 inches. USB 3.0 super speed transfer interface, 3.5 inch SATA hard drive easy swap module, SSD ready, maximum drive bay to uh, I.O. support up to 11 devices, up to 12 or up to 1200 centimeter fans by seven. Cable routing space, tool free design for hard drives, removable front fan, PSU air filter. Okay, so let's open up the box and see what it comes with. Okay, I usually don't uh, show the unboxing itself, but Inwin does such a nice job of packaging these things for shipping. To keep them safe, I thought I would uh, show you the uh, foam on it, the bag that they include on the uh, case itself to keep dust or any debris off of it. And it's very snugly fit in there so they do an excellent job shipping to make sure it's going to get to you in one piece. And once you get the case out of the box itself, you'll notice there's another front plastic cover on it to uh, help protect the front bezel from getting scratched. So they they go the extra steps to make sure the case is going to get to you in good shape. Okay, inside the box we get the case itself. Get this beautiful fold-out uh, user manual that's got some uh, pictures on it showing you the uh, different ways to bolt things together for it, add different things to it, as well as a full assortment of uh, screws and accessories for the case. Everything is individually bagged and uh, labeled motherboard screws and standoffs uh, hard drive screws um, in different uh, here's your three and a half inch two and a half inch and some more two and a half inch hard drive ones you get a pc speaker you get a bunch of twist ties for cable management and they also give you an extra io shield plate for it 
Okay, and now which I've been waiting for is a closer look at the case itself. As you can see, they're going with the white and black theme that's becoming pretty popular in newer cases, and I have to admit, I really like it. Years ago when all cases were kind of a beige color, very plain looking, um, not very fancy, and then we went through this era where everything seemed to be black. Um, you really couldn't get a case in a different color than that. And now we're seeing some of these manufacturers coming up with different uh, color schemes for the cases. And I have to admit, I really like the white and black theme. That's a lot of contrast. Anyway, enough for my opinion. Okay, closer look at the front connections. If you can kind of make out here these little plastic uh, corner pieces here. These are actually your LEDs. Um, so here's your power switch and then the power LED. On this side we have our reset switch as well as your hard drive activity. We have our fire wire connector, microphone jack, audio jack, two high speed USB 3.0 ports, as well as the three and a half or three five and a half inch bays. On the side of the case itself, you can see there's plenty of uh, room for ventilation in the side panel. There's also mounting screws holes here where you could add 220 millimeter fans to the side to bring more fresh air into the case. On the back of the case, you can see where your IO shield would go. There's an included 120 millimeter exhaust fan. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bays for your uh, cards has a uh, bottom mounted ATX power supply. We have just a plain white panel on the other side panel, no ventilation there. On the top of the case we have ventilation also as well as mounts for two 120 millimeter fans or also a radiator could be mounted on here or the side panel. As with most uh, modern cases, you simply can just lift up on the front panel and remove it. On this particular one, you do have to remove the side panel, and then it's got these little plastic tabs here. You just simply pull them out. The, the front panel will swing away and then come right off. It gives us access to our front fans for cleaning. As you can see, there's an included 120 millimeter that comes in the case already with a dust cover on it. There's also room for an additional 120 here that pops right in if you want to uh, add cooling for extra hard drives. Okay, inside the case itself you can see there's plenty of room for uh, adding drives. You have uh, multiple slots here that you could add your uh, two and a half inch drives, your three and a half inch hard drives. You got a spot up here for your three optical drives or your fan controller, what you might want to add there. Um, you see a big cutout in the back for your uh, back of your CPU cooler block. There's also cable management holes along the side of it. They give you all the connections here that you need for your front panel. Your USB 3, your Firewire connector, as well as a uh, hot swappable SATA connector. I'll see if I can get a better look at that. Uh, camera might not pick that up so well. But right down here we have a hot swappable connector so you can just simply slide your drive in or out. Um, and you have a connector here to go right to the motherboard with it to make it very easy to add uh, just a single hard drive if you want. That sort of thing. Um, excuse me, actually there's two of them. There's one right above it that is also hard to see. I'm going to see if I can get the camera down here. There we go. Maybe that's a better shot of it. Now we can see the two hot swappable ports there as well as the connectors here to plug into your mother drive or motherboard so you don't have to worry about cable management and stuff at least for two hard drives uh, down at the bottom here we see a ventilation for your power supply it also has a uh, dust filter on it itself very nice uh, inside I like the fact that it's all painted they again went with the black theme to uh, carry out the white and black. Let's turn it around to the other side and have a little look at the uh, cable management uh, locations here. You see this channel running down the side which I've seen in other in-win cases and I just love that. It's a great feature for tucking cables in. Gives you a nice slot to run everything down so that you can get your side covers on without having to fight with them. Here is your power connector to plug in your hot swappable drives themselves. The one easy connector to plug in the power for both of them. 
Uh, overall, a very nice uh, case. I love the styling of it. I love the fact that they add uh, additional accessories, like here on the back, you can see there's two pop-outs here that you could use for running uh, water tubing. If you wanted to run water hoses out the back itself, maybe mount a uh, 240 millimeter radiator on the uh, top of it, or you could put a 120 millimeter radiator in the back. And also on that side panel, we've seen there was room for a 240 radiator also. So for a mid-sized case, it's gonna give you lots of features. I think the styling of it with the white and black is excellent. Uh, it's an all toolless design. It's going to look good. It's going to perform good and give you plenty of room for all of the uh, add-ons and accessories you might want to add for your gaming build or computer workstation build. But anyway, that's going to be it for this product showcase. We want to thank Inwin for providing it. And once again, this is their MANA 136 Mid-Tower ATX case.